G'day, my name's Wilfred West from Locksport, Victoria, Australia. Welcome to Locksport, the home of online gaming, wonderful views and Australian wildlife. I do hope you like these videos, if so please subscribe. G'day, my name is King Animal Commander Black Star Lord Triple Lead at your service, and welcome back to me killing things and listening to the Elite Dangerous Letter 229. Greetings, Commander Black Star Lord, and welcome to the Elite Dangerous Newsletter 229. We are excited to announce that the next update, Beyond. Chapter 2 will be available on the 28th of June 2018. This is the first of two smaller installments coming as part of the Elite Dangerous Beyond series of updates, with a larger release arriving in Q4 of this year. Make sure to check out the brand new trailer. As always, you can hear the latest news and updates directly from the development team on our forums, Twitter, Facebook, community homepage, as well as right here in the newsletter every week. We're always eager to hear your feedback. On the horizon. All the latest for Elite Dangerous. Get ready for 3.1. Chapter 2 of the Beyond series will be available next month on the 28th of June 2018. Check out the new trailer here. In this new update you can pilot the Alliance Challenger, the Alliance's newest warship. This combat vessel boasts stronger armor than its chieftain counterpart, making it ideal for the front lines. There will also be a selection of new mining wing missions for you and your fellow commanders to take on plus installation interactions and new settlements to explore. The intergalactic Thargoid threat will introduce new vessels in the next update too, with scout variants which will buff and enhance the other scouts' combat efficiency. Luckily the tech brokers will be issuing new large weapons versions of the existing Guardian tech for you to unlock. You can get further details on these new additions to the game and join the discussion on the forum thread here. Find out more. Live S stream low down. Catch up with videos from the community team. Edifying Will, Sagittarius I. As part of the new Edifying Will series, Will accompanied the Sagittarius I player group and found out what it was like to become a member of the Elite Dangerous Free Press. He was tasked to fly close to Thargoids so their resident photographer, Star Fox, could line up a perfect shot. Tune in to see if Sagittarius I decided to hire or fire him. Watch now. Store Spotlight. The latest goods and deals from the Frontier Store. Store Spotlight. Chieftain Pulse Paint Jobs. This week the Alliance Chieftain receives the Luminous Treatment. Now you can outmaneuver and outshine the competition. As always, these are available via livery or your respective platform store. Check it out. Community. The best from the community, all in one place. Dripping light. Commander Cahun Leth has put together a mesmerizing long exposure shot of a black hole found in Elite Dangerous. For Conde Laser. Check out this commander's laser cut for Conde Lacy logo. What ship manufacturer logos would you like to see? Charity Stream Reminder Commander Plater urges you to check out his announcement about his charity 24-hour live stream in support of the British Thyroid Foundation. Spread a little goodwill around this weekend and tune in on June 9th at 12pm, BST. Independent Defense Agency Competition don't forget to check out Hyder's content creation competition for a chance to win some great prizes. Find out more. Roger that, Commander. Galnet Roger Focus. All the news from across the galaxy. Anarchy in Sokko. The Sokko system, headquarters of Aegis Core, has been overtaken by the Sokko Gold Raiders, a criminal faction. The system is now in a state of anarchy. Aegis personnel, including Dr. Mir Valancourt and Professor Albert Estrick have appealed to the galactic community to help free Sokka from the criminals. Aegis hails Eagle Eye success. 
Aegis has announced that its Eagle Eye initiative has helped to repel Thargoid forces from systems in the Pleiades Nebula. Admiral Aiden Tanner, Aegis's chief military liaison, said that Thargoid incursions in the Wild Armor and Lanan 4141 systems had been resisted due to the early warnings provided by Eagle Eye. League of Reparation strikes again. The Pilots' Federation has reported that five independent ships have been attacked by terrorist organization the League of Reparation, with the loss of all crew members. The task force investigating the League has made a breakthrough, however, having discovered that League agents received their orders from a source code named Nexus. Los Chupacabras campaign concludes. Los Chupacabras have announced that their plan to host a music festival in the LFD 926 system has been enthusiastically received by the galactic community. Scores of pilots supported the initiative by delivering commodities to Meredith City, the organization's base of operations. Order restored in Tiensai. The autocracy of Tiensai has announced that its campaign to clear the Tiensai system of agitators has been a success. Hundreds of pilots responded to the appeal, taking to their ships to eliminate the criminals operating in the system. Community goals. The latest mission is for you to take on. Starport Repair Initiative announced. Following Thargoid strikes on the fringes of the core systems, a new initiative to restore damaged starports has been announced. An open order has been placed for construction materials, which will be shipped to the affected starports and used to make repairs. Pilots are asked to make their deliveries to Dank Enterprise in the Soko system. The campaign begins on the 31st of May 3304 and will run for one week. If the final target is met earlier than planned, the campaign will end immediately. Pleiades Starport Restoration A fund has been set up by the Aegis Research to repair starports in the Pleiades Nebula that have been damaged during the Thargoid conflict. Traders are requested to deliver construction materials to the Oracle in the Pleiades Sector Ear WD-155 system. The campaign begins on the 31st of May 3304 and will run for one week. If the final target is met earlier than planned, the campaign will end immediately. Stay in touch. At Elite Dangerous slash Elite Dangerous official slash Elite Dangerous slash R slash Elite Dangerous. See you in the black, Commanders. Thank you from the Frontier Developments team for listening to Elite Dangerous Newsletter 229. My name is King Admiral Commander Black Star Lord Triple Lead at your service signing off. Thank you again for watching me killing things and listening to the Leak Dangerous Newsletter 229. All comments are welcome and you all have a great day now.